Hello, my dear friends. I have a, a halachic question that I want to pose to you today and, and, and share with you my thoughts about this question. I'm very busy. I know probably most people are very busy. I've got a million things to do. There's not enough time in a 24 hour day for me to get everything done. It's impossible. And I have people that want uh, to, to have meetings with me and people want to have halacha questions and, and then I have to prepare shiurim and drushes. I'm just busy, busy all the time. Now I have this old friend by the name, let's say his name is Chaim, and let's say he goes out west. Chaim calls me maybe once a month, once every other month, and when I see his name on the caller ID, I say, Oy vey. it's Chaim, I'm so busy. And, and we'll, oh, oh, Chaim does not get off the phone. I can't have a short conversation with Chaim. Guaranteed I'm gonna be on the phone with Chaim at least a half hour, maybe 45 minutes, and I, I tell Chaim over and over again, Chaim, I've got to go. I have people waiting for me. I have to answer a shayla. I have to finish preparing my, my shir. The Chaim says, Yaakov David, just give me one more minute. And what does Chaim talk to me about? Is, is it anything of, of significance and import? No. He talks to me about the past. He's still living in the in, in Lakewood, in Beis in, in from from 50 years ago, 1971, 1972. That's what Chaim wants to discuss. And he says to me, Yaakov David, do you remember that you learned the Harusa with this fellow who used to be a good friend of mine? And do you remember, he used to sit, I think it was the third row in the Mesh Medrash on, on the right side. And do, do you remember we were talking and learning once and I remember we were, we went outside to discuss the Shaila and, and it was this Sugya and this one. There's nothing that he discusses that has any significance and importance. So my halacha question is, how should I prioritize my time? Should I give Chaim as much time as he wants? I give him a half hour, 45 minutes? Or should I just cut the conversation short and say, Chaim, I can't talk to you now. It's nice to hear from you. Be well. Zai gezun. Goodbye. So there's a pasuk in Chumash that discusses this question. The Chumash says, When you're going to be somebody from your brothers who's very poor, so the Torah says, Lo samet says, Lo lo sikpa says, Don't be selfish. Don't be hard-hearted. Open up your hand. Be very generous with him. So the Torah says, What's the shear? How much do you have to give a person who's down and out? He, 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 he was a wealthy person and now he has nothing. He lost all his wealth. How much am I obligated to give such a person? So the Chumash says, You know how much? De machsaro asher yachsaro as much as he needs, whatever he's missing, that's what you have to give the person. So you'll say, what I mean, whatever he's missing. Let's say he used to be a millionaire and he lived in a fancy house and, and he had uh, four cars. Then he would go on vacation every other week. It, I have to, and, and, and now he feels bad that he, he doesn't have it. He's missing it. That's what he's missing. Do, do, I, have to, do I have to go and, and, and make that up for him? Do I have to give him that much money for tzedakah? So Rashi says that they machsaro iatam betzuva leha ashiro. I don't have to make him wealthy again. He 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 used to be rich, so he used to be rich. I don't I don't have to help him out that he should become wealthy again. But Rashi says, what? So what does Asher Yachsaro mean? What does it mean? What he's missing? What what's the shir? What does it mean? How much is he missing? So Rashi says, Afilu sus lirka v'alav ve'eved l'aras l'fanav. This Rashi is astounding. If he if he used to ride a horse. I mean, the equivalent is, he used to ride, I don't know, fancy cars, my kids will make fun of me, a Ferrari or a Cadillac or whatever. But he had a fancy car and a Mercedes Benz, whatever it is. And he, he, he had a servant that would walk before him and he would he would call out, make way for Mr. So-and-so, who's the, one of the most prestigious people in our city. So now he can't afford the, the horse, and he can't afford the servant to proclaim that he's coming. So uh, Rashi says, what he's missing is, that's what he's missing. He's missing the horse, and he's missing the, the servant. So the question is, what's going on here? What, 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 how could that be? It, the, the man is living in fantasy land. He used to be a wealthy person. He, had a, he, he, he drove a horse. Now, or he had a fancy car. Now he has to take public transportation. He can't. He can't drive a fancy car anymore. He can't even drive a cheap car. 
He has to go to work on the train or the subway like the rest of us. He doesn't, can't have a limousine with a driver take him into New York City. And, and, and he, he, he doesn't have uh, people to, to, to call out in front of him who he is and all that. So I, I have to pay for that. I, I don't have a servant that walks in front of me and says, hey, guess what, who's coming, Yankel Luban. Why, why do I have to support that? Well, and why, if he wants, if he wants to drive a fancy car, I don't have a fancy car. Why do Why do I have to pay for him to have a fancy car? And if the best he could do is 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 manage with with public transportation, so be it. You know, why doesn't he wake up and smell the coffee? He 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 lost his money. You can't live like a rich man if you're poor. So the answer is here's a very very important principle, and that is Asher Yachsago. It's what he's missing. And here I'll share with you a, a famous story that it, it, that it explains exactly the point. The the, the Moshe Leib Sasaver was one of the great Hasidic masters, and he said that he learned what it means to love a fellow Jew, Avas Yisrael. He learned from two shikurim, two drunkards, who were sitting in a, in a tavern. He happened to be there. He was staying overnight in the in the, in the inn. And in the, in the tavern that was attached to the inn, there were these two Russian peasants, and they were drinking, and they were both shikr. One of them was, was Ivan, and the other one was Boris. So Ivan says to Boris, Boris, do you love me? So Boris says, yeah, of course I love you. He says, no, no, Boris, do you really love me? So Boris says, yeah, I really love you. So he says, well, if, if you really love me, Tell me what I'm missing. So Boris says, Ivan, I love you like a brother. And how should I know what you're missing? I'm not you. You know what you're missing. I don't know what you're missing. So Ivan says, Boris, if you really loved me, you would know what I'm missing. And the Sasava Rebbe said, he learned from that, that Avas Yisrael means that you know what hurts a person. You know what pains a person and you know what the person is missing. And if you don't know what the person needs in his life to make him or her feel better, then you haven't satisfied the requirements of Ahav Yisrael, of Ahav Tareach HaKamocha. That's what he learned from, from these two people who were sharing a drink together. The Chumash is saying that everybody has certain things that are crucial to them. The person, this person, that I actually yes, so that he's missing. This person, yes, he was wealthy, and you, you are not required to, to, yeah, he would like to become a millionaire again. But one thing he, he needs to hold on to is his covet, his dignity. He, he's not accustomed to, to taking the subway. It's, it's humiliating for him. He had this beautiful car, and that, that made him feel a certain sense of, of prestige, of importance. And now he has nothing. Now he's lost everything. His house is in foreclosure. His, his, his life is in, is in shatters. But he wants to have a little bit dignity from the past. That's Asher Yachsagol. And am I required to provide that? The Chumash says, yeah, you are. You have to know what a person is missing. And that's what you have to give the person. The, everybody is missing something. Some people need a missing advice. Some people need somebody to talk to. Some people need somebody to, to, to help them with, 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 a, with, a, uh, with, with a difficulty. Some people need somebody to, as, a, as a study partner to learn with. Everybody has, some people need medical assistance. Everybody has things that, that are critical to them. And the Chumash says, if you have to know Asheyos, you have to know, you have to be like, Ivan said to Boris, if you don't know what I'm missing, then you don't know, then you don't love me. And that's the answer to my question about my friend Chaim, is that Chaim, his life is in shambles, is shattered, he, his health is gone, his, his children are, are, are unbelievably difficult, he doesn't have a, 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 a family life, he's struggling, he doesn't have fr real friends, but What's Yachsago? What is he missing? He's missing a little bit covered, a little bit self-worth, dignity. He used to be very popular. 
and he used to be, he was a brilliant Tamil Chacham, and he used to be one of the stars in the yeshiva, and now his life is in shambles. But the little covet that he needs and that he wants, and, and the need to, to remember with me, to relive the good old days in Lakewood, when, when we sat in the base measures together in the third row, when we were talking about this Gemara and that Gemara, and this friend and that friend was there. That's the Yechsalo for Chaim. And, and is it worth a half hour or 45 minutes? Are other priorities more important? Well, of course not. It depends what the other person, who's the other person and what their needs are. Other people also have a Shiyasalo. But it's a super high priority because the Torah says, Asher Yechsalo. And, and in order to provide what the person's missing, you have to know what, what hurts the person. What matters to the person? It's like a good husband, his wife is present, pregnant and they and women have cravings sometimes when they're pregnant. And at three o'clock in the morning, she wakes up her husband and she says, I need to have an ice cream. And, and he says, but all the stores are closed. But he says, you know what? I love you so much. There's a supermarket in Newark that's still open. I'll, I'll drive down there and I'll buy you a box of ice cream. Because w- why is that so important? Because that's what his wife needs now. That's what she's craving. That's what she's, that's what she's missing. So now it doesn't pay to analyze how, it, 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 objectively, how important is it. If somebody's in pain, you don't, you don't say, well, there's no reason for you to feel that way. Chaim, he should wake up and smell the coffee. What is, what, 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 what uh, not Chaim. The, the person that had a, that, that was wealthy and he had a horse. You know, he can't afford to have a horse. I don't have a horse. Why do I have to give him a horse? He, he's poor. So what, where, he, he's just got to face the music. He's got, he, he can't live in La La Land. But the answer is, but he's in pain. That was the, the other thing that Ivan said to Boris. Do you know what hurts me? Do you know what pains me? Do you know what I'm missing? You have to know what hurts a person. And if it hurts them, it doesn't matter whether it's logical or illogical. Yeah, sure. He should. He should realize that he can't afford to drive to drive a fancy car anymore. But it doesn't matter what he should realize. But right now, he's in pain. He needs a little bit kavod, and that's Asher Yechsalo. That's what he what he's missing. So that's what the Torah is saying here. That Asher Yechsalo, what the person is missing, that's the objective standard, not based on whether it's it's inherently important. Does does he really need a car to get to work? Yeah, well, he can get to work with a subway so, or, or, or with a bus. That, that's totally irrelevant. That's not the issue. It's The issue is how much pain does the person have? How much does the person need? What bothers the person? Where is it hurting the person? That's Asher Yech Shalom. And, if, and in order to do chesed properly, we always have to focus on the Asher Yech Shalom. We have to... And, and, and like Ivan said to Boris, do you know what hurts me? And Boris says, I said, I know. Well, then you're not a good friend. A good friend knows what, what his chaver needs. His good friend knows what hurts him, and a good friend knows what's missing. And that's the proper way to fulfill the mitzvah of Vahafta Lereacha Kamocha.